Morning all, in my hot little hands, I have a project that Awakening of the Senses has been busy involved with over the last six months. Uh, just to give you an idea, in March uh, I started writing poetry and the first poetry or the first poem that was written was called, um, was about a kangaroo, if I could be a kangaroo. And thanks to an inspiration from a dear friend of ours, uh, suggested why don't you make it into a book? So this is what's in here. So I'm going to, I'm both anxious and nervous, but also proud of this moment because it's something that we've never done before. Um, so I'm going to, it's gonna, it's like opening a tennis racket or something. So I'd be getting all this, all the excitement. Ooh. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. So there it is. Our first kids book. One of a series of kids books. Look at that. It's got the front back. I'm not sure whether you can see. It is, it looks awesome. It's exactly what I was looking, the, all the colors. I'm not sure whether you can see all the colors. The most important thing that's beautiful about this book is it's dedicated to all the beautiful Australian animals that were lost in the Australian bushfires in 2019, 2020. Um, but as you can see, all the beautiful illustrations by Tulip Studio, who are a Malaysian based illustrator who brought the poem to life. Um, so I might actually read the, how about I read it? This one's called, If I Could Be a Kangaroo. And maybe I'll just look here. If I could be a kangaroo, I'd jump and cars would pass. With leaps and bounds, I'd catch the bus to be on time for class. And there you go. It's actually my, based on my son, Jake, who's in a kangaroo onesie and he's jumping around on top of the buses to get to school on time. The school canteen is where I'd snack with books inside my pouch. A whiz at shooting baskets, I would never be a grouch. Just the level of detail in these uh, illustrations is amazing, absolutely amazing. And of course, a very healthy meal. The bell would ring and out I'd go, like rockets that can fart. I'd soar up towards the sky and then return to earth, so smart. There you go, leaving school, I've got rockets on the feet, off to the sky. I'd spring into my treehouse going up without a ladder, pretending I'm a captain on the sea where pirates chatter. There you go. Having a look with his telescope across the seas. It's time for dinner, I would hear, and shortly ride on cue. I'd sail my floppy ears to land, hurrah, it's garden stew. Look at all those lovely healthy options. It's got watermelon, my favourite. Banana, grapes. Just a delicious meal for a kangaroo, don't you think? And for any kid for that matter. To clean my dirty claws, I'd use a bath time brush with prickles. And soap that's slick and foam that's really fun because it tickles. Look at that. Making little kangaroo ears with all the foam. I feel like I'm on play school. At sundown, I'd be safe in bed, asleep without much warning. I'd surely have sweet dreams at night and bounce back in the morning. So there you have it. First ever kids book, If I Could Be a Kangaroo. Um, very proud moment to see this come to life and all the beautiful people involved. So uh, what I'd like to thank is again Tulip Studios for the illustrations. 
Robin Katz from the US who's an editor who's helped with some of the flow uh, of the poem itself. Of course my beautiful partner who's on the other side of, of the camera uh, for Nancy Matos who's put up with my crazy ideas and has been putting up with all this creativity at the middle of the night. Um, but yeah, just, just especially also a lot of the um, supporting books, uh, book groups on Facebook, which really helped in terms of understanding how to put a book together. Uh, but if anyone wants to get a printed copy, um, would love for, you can either go to Amazon uh, or Barnes and Noble and I can put the links um, on, the, on, the, um, uh, on, the, on the post. Um, yeah, and if, and if you're local, if you're in the area, I'm going to be printing off a, an inventory of these books as well. Um, and you can reach out, send me a DM or a comment. Um, but as I said, that's it there. If I could be a kangaroo. And I'd like to also thank my five kids who are by both my best and worst critics. Um, but um, the, I guess it's the true message about this, and this is something I guess Awakening the Senses has always wanted to do, is our, our, our vision is to bring people together, like-minded people together through music, spoken words, uh, written word, uh, art, and I guess this is just another way of allowing us to explore and play with our inner child, our healthy inner child, and I guess we can't always take uh, life too seriously. So any, anyway, reach out again, Big love uh, from Awakening the Senses and uh, uh, if I could be a kangaroo, can't be prouder. Namaste.